In this problem, we have to construct a confidence interval for the population mean mu. So as we read the question, we have to decide whether or not we use z or t. Recall, if they give us the population standard deviation, we use z. If they don't give it to us, we use t. Okay, let's read through it carefully. Salaries of 48 college graduates. So that's going to be the sample size. So n is equal to 48. Who took a statistics course in college have a mean x bar, so that's our sample mean, of $62,700. Assuming a standard deviation sigma, so that's our standard deviation, of 15666. Now, this symbol means population standard deviation. So they're giving us the population standard deviation in this problem, so we're definitely going to use z. Construct a 90% confidence interval for estimating the population mean mu. So we want a 90% confidence interval for the mean. So again, because they give us the population standard deviation, we're going to use z. And we know it's the population standard deviation because this symbol is the symbol people use for the population standard deviation. If they gave us little s, that would be the sample standard deviation. In that case, we would use t. Let's go through it. So we go to question help and we go to stack crunch. Then you left click. I'm going to click this to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And we're going to use Z. So we go to stat, Z stats, one sample, and then we have a summary of the data. So we click with summary. You only use with data if you actually have the data. Typically, when it's with data, it's always T. Okay, the sample mean is 62,700. Um, let's see, the standard deviation is 15666, and the sample size is 48. Yeah, it looks good, okay. And then it's a confidence interval. Oh, we have to change it, almost messed up. To change it to 90, right? Change the confidence interval to 90. So just make sure everything looks okay. Yep, 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 looks good. All right, and I guess I'm going to click Compute now and get the answer. It wants nearest integer. That Those are whole numbers. We want the nearest whole number. So I'm going to write the answer down. So that would be parentheses 58981, comma, 66419. Yeah, did I do that right? Oh, uh, yeah, I did that right. Yes, and these are dollars. You don't have to put the dollars. I just wanted to put them there. So $58,981, because we rounded that rounded that up because it was $0.67. Cents. And that one we rounded it down because it was $0.33. Cents. Okay, so that would be the answer. Let's go ahead and type it in. Close this. All right, so 58981. And 66419. Here we go. Yes, well done. All right. Oh, that's it. There's no, uh, there's no um, follow-up question or anything. That's interesting. Um, let's say you wanted to interpret this. Might as well. So let, let's interpret it. If you wanted to start an interpretation for this problem, you would start by mentioning the confidence level. So in this case, you would start by saying with 90% confidence. Then you have to think about um, what you're talking about. So we're talking about some population mean. Looks like we're talking about, um, it says, the salaries of 48 college graduates who took statistics have a mean X bar. This is a little bit harder. So we're talking about the population mean salary of college graduates who took statistics. So another way to say that would be the mean salary of all college graduates who took statistics. That would work. So the mean salary... of all, all, all is important, Remember, we're talking about a population mean, so the mean salary of all college graduates who took, I'll just put stats, then you say is between, and then you go to your answer, so in this case 58981 and 66419. Now the problem doesn't ask you for, inter for the interpretation. I just wanted to do it. I did it kind of rushed. It's kind of sloppy. Just, just so you see how to do it. So you start by mentioning the confidence level. And then in this case, it's, it's a little bit harder to figure out what you're talking about. You have to go back and read it. 
you're talking about they're talking about the salaries of college graduates who took statistics and our confidence interval is for the population mean salary of college graduates who took stats so we wrote the mean salary of all college graduates who took stats is between and then you go to your answer so i hope this video uh, has been helpful and that's it